Today we're going to be tying a jig. Just getting ready for this spring crappie season coming up. And uh, tying an eighth ounce right now. I tied some sixteenths and eighths. But this is a, really a, turned out to be a good looking jig. I'm going to show you how I tied it. I don't have a name for it. I just tried to duplicate a minnow or shad. So I'll be using uh, bucktail, rabbit fur, and marabou. So that's my three materials. We've got a black bucktail, white rabbit hair, and gray marabou. So stick around, let's learn to tie a jig. I've been uh, tying for a couple years now and it's really a fun hobby if you want to get into it. It's just something extra special to be able to tie a jig and go take it and catch fish with it. So uh, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start off with a little glue. I'm just using a uh, clear fingernail polish. But I'm gonna put a little bit on my hook, just keep the thread from slipping. All right, this jig I'm just gonna make to kind of resemble a shad or a minnow. I'm using a gray marabou. You can use marabou and all this if you want to, but this is what I've got. I've got ra uh, white rabbit hair and I've got black bucktail. I'm using a black thread. So what I want to do is prepare my hook here for wrapping. So I'm gonna, it's kind of awkward where I got my camera set up out here to try to do this, but I'm gonna put about two, two wraps on this, on this uh, hook. I'm gonna trim off my tag end of the string. All right, to start with, uh, we're looking at this minna. We're gonna call it a minna. We're looking at it upside down. On a minna, you usually have a, the back is a little darker. So what I'm gonna do is pull me out a little, a little black bucktail here. I just want enough just to put a dark accent across the top of that jig. Might be a little bit too much. Just thin it down to wherever you need it. All I want is just a hint of black up there. So that's about the length I need. Pack it off, put it on there. Wrap it a little bit loose to start with. Because we're gonna roll this around and put it on that side because that's gonna be the top of the mount. You have to pull your hook off and split it to get it where you want it up. Okay, so that's the top of my minnow. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it on there. All right. Now I'm gonna make the, the body. The body I'm using gray marabou. I like the marabou because it gives life to the to the jig, just like it flows in the air. It does the same thing in the water. Once it gets wet and it opens up, it gives you some action. After I get it in the position I want, I come back and trim that end off. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this on. I say it's kind of awkward here where I got my. camera set. When you're using several materials like that too, it don't hurt really to go back and touch that with a little glue. It just ensures it that it don't slip. Alright, so I've got the black, which will be the top of the minnow back, then I've got the body of the minnow. And I like to use a little of this flash of blue flash of boo. In it, it's this stuff right here. Just kind of gives it a little bit more color. 
what I do is I just fold it in half about the length I want. Just make a loop. And then lay it down here on the jig. And when I tie this, I'm trying to get one strand on one side and one on the other. That way it gives it a piece of that material on each side of the jig. Then I'll come back and cut the length on that one piece. The other one's already the length I want. So just whack that off. And we're going to sense that down a little better. All right, now we're going to do the belly of the minnow. But always your bellies are always a lighter color. So what I'm going to do is pull me out a little rabbit fur here. that much and it don't have to be the same length as the jig because you're using the bellies are up the front half of the minnow anyway so it's a little shorter than the than the other one or the rest of the body okay so I'm gonna tie that right here on the on the top which will be the bottom when I get finished Pinch it down good. All right. Now, now for the body. I'm gonna use a black crystal Chanel. There's the number if you wanna to try to find the number. But this is about a medium to small. it up there on the front and go down to my last thread there just tying that on good take your thread back to the front and leave it hanging now you want to just make sure you get all your stuff brushed out of the way I found that when you first start wrapping you usually have to do about two or three loops on the back side right there because if you don't it'll make your body look smaller that way but I like to keep it uniform just wrap it snug This is a number two wire hook, eagle claw. Let's see if one more, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna take my string and wrap it right next to the head and pull it, and let it hang back down. Then I'm gonna clip my Chanel off right up next to the body. All right, then I'm gonna take my whip finisher here. Pull me out a little slack. I like doing three and then four, but you can do whatever you want. So there's one, two, three. There's four. I'll do three on this one. One, two, three. Set that down. Cut that off. Now if you just want to ensure that that stays where it needs to be. You can take you a dab of glue and just sink it right down in there next to the head where that thread's at. And that'll be your mini jig. When it's in the water, this will be all out to a point back here. It leaves their body on the front. So I'm looking forward to using these things and uh, catching some crappie. So that's the minnow jig. Um, if you like what you've seen, be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell over there. Make sure uh, it's on so you don't miss the next video, the notification bell. Um, looking forward to bringing some crappie content soon. And while you're at it, go back and look at some of those other crappie videos I posted this past spring. Uh, some really nice crappie on there, and looking forward to bringing you some more content or, or a lot of comment this or content this year on uh, crappie fishing. So, uh, got a lot of new things in the works right now, and God willing, it's going to be a great year. So, uh, thank you all again for subscribing, 
and please like share comment be glad to answer any comments and i hope you enjoyed the jig tying i may do some more of these if, if this turns out pretty good and y'all are interested in that but uh so thanks again god bless you and uh and keep on pushing